The benefits of a classical education are seen in some of the parallel terms that are used for classical education. For example, it's, a, it's sometimes called a humane education because it cultivates the human being and tends toward human flourishing. Um, it's also sometimes called a liberal education in the sense that it liberates, it frees or liberates the students from, uh, from the ignorance in which we're all born, from the, the passions that we're all, um, we're all so easily susceptible to. Uh, some people imagine some kind of dull lecture where the, the person talking stands in the front of the room and has their back to the class and drones on in a monotone for 45 minutes solid and then class is over. And that is not classical education. So classical education manages to use the best, most time-tested materials and methods. And so you end up with a classroom that's full of intellectual engagement and dynamism and, uh, and joy in learning. And so the product of this is an education that's designed for individual human flourishing and that encompasses both um, intellectual virtue and moral virtue and we hope, and the end, civic virtue as well.